one service. I am going to be sharing about a food that when I eat, I feel left. It is butter chicken curry. Here's a picture of it. Wait, it's not there. Oh, here it is. Firstly, you have to marinate the chicken. Marinating the chicken helps to make it soft and tasty. You have to marinate it with lemon juice, chili powder, and salt. The ingredients are 1 cup butter, 1 onion, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, canned tomato sauce, 3 cups of heavy cream, 2 tablespoons of salt, 1 tablespoon of cayenne powder, and make sure there's no excess water in the chicken too. Other than that, I have no idea how to make it. It is very complicated and my mom makes it with love. Whenever I feel down or I'm worried about something, she makes this for me. Growing up, I have always eaten this dish with such delight. When I eat this rice, to me, it is the most tastiest food ever. Hi, I'm Colleen and my food item is two eggs and prawn covered with tomato sauce that my aunt makes. It is made of prawn, quilled eggs, tomato sauce and a few chunks of tomato. The quilled eggs are boiled and the prawns are boiled too, but it will be fried in my pan. It is typically eaten when I go over to my aunt's house. My aunt cooks it alone and it is a symbol of love from my aunt. She would ask me if I wanted to eat this dish or fried prawns whenever I go over to her house. It fills an emotional void as whenever I eat this dish of hers, I would think of her. My favourite snack is cornflakes and cranberry cookies. I love the texture of the cornflakes and cranberry cookies as they are very crunchy and chewy. The crunch comes from the cornflakes, while the cranberries add to the chewiness, making them one of the best snacks ever. There are various ingredients that you will need when making the cookies such as all-purpose flour, eggs, cornflakes, cranberries, butter, and many more. Hi guys, I'm Yuvraj from One Passion and today, I would like to share with y'all about my favourite food. My favourite food is pao bhaji which is commonly prepared in festivals in the Hindu tradition. There are a blend of spices used in the preparation of the bhaji. It combines spices like red chilies, coriander seeds, cumin seeds, black pepper, cinnamon, clove, black cardamom, dry mango powder, fennel seeds and turmeric powder. This is also why this is my favourite dish. This dish is also served with some fine onion slices as well as a small lemon slice. What I like about this dish are the different textures and spices used in this dish which enhance the flavour a lot more. I highly recommend you all to try this dish as well. Well, that was all for me. Take care. Hello everyone. My name is Yang. Today, I will be talking about my favourite food called ABC soup. Now, you may be wondering why it is called ABC soup. Let me tell you more about it. This is because ABC soup is so easy to prepare that it is as simple as ABC. It is also because it consists of all vitamins A, B and C, which is the carrots, potatoes and the tomatoes. The ABC soup is one of the most important things to me because it reminded me of my childhood. When I was younger, I used to love drinking the ABC soup. Whenever I smelled the fragrance from the ABC soup, I would rush out of, of my room to the kitchen and I would watch my mother make the soup. These memories are very precious to me. Hello everyone, my name is Sai. The dish that means a lot to me is mac and cheese. This was what I would eat when I was younger. As this is special, as my mother always loved cooking it, and I always enjoyed eating. I really enjoyed my mother's mac and cheese as her cooking is the best. Her mac and cheese comes with extra cheese and this makes it even more tastier. The mac and cheese originated from Italy in a cookbook from the 13th century. The dish was primarily reserved for the upper classes until the industrial revolution made pasta production easier. It was my childhood favorite food and still is to this day. 
Hello everybody, so my name is Ian and I'm from One Synergy. So today I'm gonna share a food which is a uh, cheese ham and toaster bread. Yes, um it's very special to me because um only my mother can make it and only the ones made by her is most delicious. And that's all I have to talk about my food and have a nice day. Today I'll be talking about my favorite food, the chicken rice. And here you go, I will show you guys a pic. The chicken rice that you saw consists of steamed chicken, fragrant rice and to enhance the flavor, garlic and ginger is added after boiling the rice. I eat it at least 4 times a month. I like to pour all the sambal chili into the rice as I like it spicy. And the cucumber goes really well with the sambal chili. I started loving chicken rice at the age of 5. Since this was my first food to try outside of home, I would never forget the taste of it. It was just so good. Those who have not tried chicken rice before, go ahead and try it. Uh, my favorite food uh, has tata sauce added on the patty. I usually eat it with my family and friends. Uh, I can buy at McDonald's. Uh, it usually costs two dollars. Favorite food is a dessert. It is moist and it has chocolate fillings inside. Uh, it is often served with ice cream or sometimes on its own. My favorite food is or is popular in Indian Muslim food stores. One of the names is Maggi and it doesn't necessarily use Maggi noodles. I usually eat it at West Coast Thai Raja. Uh, my favorite food is a main course and it is from the Chinese cuisine. It is uh, the texture of the food is very fluffy and sometimes maybe a little bit crunchy. It is made in a wok or a like pan with oil. Uh, there is rice in the food and also egg.